Ah, ah. Soldiers from around here killed in Afghanistan and Iraq. Many of the families have been very supportive of them, you know, and very proud of them and carrying flags and things. So I'd like to see a scenario where we've got a, a son brought up in a family where it is the thing to do to fight for <coughs> freedom country, and he might have misgivings about it. Okay, let's go with that. Let's add to that, you've already had one son killed in the army, okay, but you still think it's the right thing to do. And they're proud of him. And proud of him. There's photos up there. Yeah. Okay. So, it's your duty to be a hero, like your brother. Like my brother? You mean like my dead brother? Like your brother who died, a hero, who died for died a country. hero. He died in another country, we didn't even get him back. We didn't even get to bury him! He died you want for me to end like that? He died for a cause. He died for a cause. He didn't die for a cause. He died he for died a cause. What no, are you Have some respect died. for Do you your know death, he died? He died because you have forced him to go to war. And you tried to make me do the same. I'm not going to war. It was his decision. He was a good man. And I am proud of him for that. He was a better man than you. A better? You coward! A coward? You think I'm a coward? Why don't you go to war now? Well, in case you didn't notice, I went to war. I served my time for my king and for my country. You know what? You got lucky. You didn't die, but Jake did. Jake died. Jake was a hero, unlike you. You're a disgrace. So what would you prefer? You prefer me to go out there and die? Would you not rather me, rather me be here? At least then I'd be proud of you. Die protecting us. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's